Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So it's Freedom Friday and I want you guys to come financially free with me. I'm Latrice and this is my channel on Periscope here. If you're not following me, if you don't know me, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now you are family. Make sure you're following. Um, Make sure you tap into the information that I come on here and share. I talk about a multitude of things, you know, this live is going to be a quick one. Why? Because one, I'm expecting a call, so I was unable to put my airplane mode on. So as soon as the notifications and all these things start popping in, Periscope's just gonna mute me. Um, that's what I've been noticing that's been happening with my phone. Um, another thing is it's really short and sweet. I just have three tips for you today to help you with your money mindset, to help you with, you know, rocking it out on this 26 week saving challenge. Whether you're on your fourth week or you're on your fifth week, know that we started at the month of October this month and each week we are saving an, uh, an amount each week. So whatever the domination, the nomination that you are saving, you're going to times that by the week. So if, you know, the first week, we saved a dollar, we saved five dollars, we saved ten dollars, or we saved twenty dollars. The second week, again, we saved two dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, or forty dollars. So each week, whatever you started out with for the first week of our 26 week saving challenge, you are going to add or times the week amount to the dollar amount each week to identify how much you should be putting away for saving at the end of that week and to understand how much you need for the end of the month. Now, if you did follow the steps, if you follow the steps that we outlined at the beginning and you're saving $20 per week, then guess what? Is it the last day of the month? I'm horrible with dates, but listen, then you should have $200 saved by the end of October complete um we're completing october closing it off with 200 dollars. if you are on your way to doing that you know congrats to you if you're saving five dollars a week that's okay if you're saving if you can't afford to save something weekly add up how much it's going to you know be at the end of the month and put that monthly amount aside. Listen, always remember to get into the habit of paying yourself first. This is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to get into the habit of. Now, what controls your focus, right? Controls your results. Now, if you're not getting the result that you you say you want, you're not getting the result that you set out to get, then understand what, you know, what is it that's, that's distracting you? What is it that's keeping your focus? Whatever your result is, you know, the efforts you're putting in, that is what you're getting. So you want to reap your reward. You have to plant good seeds. Okay. Three things, three things we want to talk about. You, you know me, I'm all about the motives, the movements and the business as usual. So your motives, what is your clear vision? What, how much is it that you want to save? Why are you saving? Why is that, um, the budget you set for yourself? Is it a budget that is maintainable? Is it something that you'll be able to, um, challenge yourself in order to push yourself to save that amount and are you to make sure that you do have that amount at the end of, you know, at the end of your goal. Remember, this is why I'm here. I am also here for accountability. If you are struggling in that area, you can connect with me. We're um, starting like a community where we can motivate and encourage each other. So definitely, if you're having challenges with this 26 weeks challenge, saving challenge, then definitely reach out to me and we can figure out different ways that can help you with saving so that we can work our way to that financial freedom, right? So what is your motives? Do you have clear vision, clear goals? Set them. The second one, um, what is your next move? Movements, movements, queens, movements, my beloveds. This is what I talk about all the time. Are we making moves? Yes, we are making moves. We are already on our 2020 visions. We're not even thinking about 2019. 2019 is over. We're back to 2020 now and we're ahead of the game and we are setting rules. We're setting guidelines. We're setting visions. We're setting goals. It's already in action. So what is your next move? You know, we talked about the budget you set for yourself. How are we going to get there? How are we going to, how are we going to create room to ensure that, you know, we get a flow of income? Listen, 
when you set action goals, you know, understand your motives, your vision is clear, and you want to take action towards it, you have to figure out, again, the long-term goal. How are you going to create these finances? Do you have a part-time job? Do you need to get a part-time job? Are you renting out a space in your house because you have extra space? Do you have a parking space that you can maybe rent out and bring in certain um, income from? There's every mickle, mickle, buckle. Do you have something right now that you are utilizing or you can, you know, sacrifice to, you know, put some time in or to outsource it so you can get a, a, a steady stream of income coming in from it? Do you have a smartphone? How can you utilize your smartphone to leverage it so that you can get an income, a return on your investment? Are you attached to an amazing company? So often we are shopping. We are shopping and we're telling people about where we get these things from and it's all for free. Well, free to the owners, but not free for us who are spending and we're giving away free re referrals, bringing traffic to a well-known company already, right? So it lessens their cost on advertisement. How about you? Have you considered yourself? Are you tapped into a system where you are able to do whatever you do anyways and get paid for it. I am one of those people who believe in multiple streams of income. I want my money to be working for me and me not so much for my money, right? The more I read and educate myself about money and energy and investments and savings, the more I understand that all this time I've been doing it all wrong. All this time having a closed mind or lack of knowledge kept me from really attaining and receiving the wealth that I, I desire and the wealth that, that is deserving to me. So then I had to learn new techniques. So then I had to open my mind. So then I had to take risk, take calculated risk, risk that was return, bringing me my return and in investment. So there were certain things that I needed for myself, like my health was decreasing. There's some things that I do on a regular basis. We brush our teeth. I hope everyone on here brush their teeth at least once a day right um there's some things that i do on a regular like drink tea sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll play around with some coffee you know and i'm transitioning now into the time of holistic and healing and and just you know my wellness my wellness has been such a priority for me um ha of late and i've been focusing on that but at the same time while i'm getting my health in order i really wanted um to not have to stop you know, earning to not have to, you know, sacrifice one thing after the other. So I got attached to this amazing company and I come on here and I talk about it sometime, but today is not what that that is all about. But this company has allowed me to get my health in order and also earn while sipping on my tea, while brushing my teeth, while 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 just, you know, being able to work on my 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 tablet, work at home, work from anywhere i'm able to travel and once i'm in different countries different cities i'm able to share the information with others and even open up the door and unlock the opportunity of making even more money see that company is is a company that goes well it collaborates well it brings synergy well with other companies other things that you're doing in your life so it's it, there's systems already set up you know for those of you who maybe want a business but you don't want to put you know do the registration do the back the drop shipping the back the background work this company that i was able to attach myself to it allowed me to remove myself from all of that but still able to get a 50 percent profit like i've been working in companies forever and i've never gotten a 50 percent raise i've never gotten 50 percent of the company so the fact that i'm able to tap into that system was helping me to to create that action plan right and 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 understand that you know what it's business as usual right i had to figure out how am i going to earn more income right what are my skills what are my talent i can i can talk i i i love to exercise i i love to help others i enjoy just you know living that healthy lifestyle freeing up my time so i definitely found things that collaborate with it that i definitely found things that served me in those areas and eliminated the things that no longer served me. So sacrifices definitely had to be made. And, um, you know, it's only for a period of time. And then again, 
as you get, you know, as you go along in your journey, you know, if you start to build towards more of a success. Okay. So that's what I have for you today, guys. I hope you like I love talking about money. Many people don't even like to face money. That's because they're fear of it. That's because they're lack of it. But you know what? When you are living in a place where money is coming to you easily and freely, when you're speaking these things into your life, when you're making sure that you are attracting these things by positioning yourself, by becoming knowledgeable um, about these things, by putting the, the things that you've learned into action and actually taking action steps, being um, motivated, being being practical, being, you know, intentional, then guess what? You're going to reap what you sow. You're going to get the outcome of what it is that you're desiring, what it is that you're, you're out for, right? So as it comes to money, remember, what controls your focus controls your results. So let's focus on how we're going to grow that money, how we're going to attract that money, and how we're going to change our mindset about money it begins in here guys it begins in here it begins with filtering the things that we were taught about money these habits that we put towards you know creating money or earning our money or making our money we have to really sit and it takes time to the things we recognize in ourselves when we sit in private it fares a lot of people so a lot of people are scared to kind of sit in solitude to get their elevation to get the enlightenment and the knowledge that they need it's all within you you just have to sit quiet enough to figure it out to learn to listen and then when you do hear it you simply have to take action so if you're here today and you were watching this you you've made it here this long I appreciate you for sharing time and space with me. I thank you for, you know, for for just your energy being here. It's always positive vibes. If you need or know someone who needs help with their budgeting, who needs help with their self-development, who needs help with, you know, earning an extra income, then definitely send them over to me. Share this video with them. Make sure you're following me and definitely tap into what is happening and, and all the updates and you will know how to reach out to me so that you can start your journey, start your transformation, or start uh, your amazing savings for your time freedom, for your financial freedom. Have yourself an awesome and amazing day. I will actually see you later for some TLC conversation so you can learn a little bit more about the amazing business that I mentioned earlier in this um you know, make money clip. All right. So again, 26 weeks saving challenge on the go rocket. We're rocking it. Keep rocking it. All right. Peace.